I'm Movie Man. I'm an octopus who reviews movies, and today's review is going to be on. Those guys are jerks. So, um, this is a film which I was fairly looking forward to. Um, obviously, I saw um the first Inside Out back when it came out in 2015 and I remember just absolutely loving it I thought it was a phenomenal movie and yeah like I've re-watched it quite a few times since my original viewing um and I watched it there um some days back now and preparation for the sequel and yeah it still holds up it's honestly just such an amazing movie um so yeah like um in the years that had passed since the release of the original film um there has been some talks about a sequel um but uh, like they've never like confirmed it or anything um, i was looking forward to um a sequel like i was wondering you know, you know if they ever decided to make one and you know i hope that they'd eventually do um and there um back in 2022 I believe it was actually the day after my birthday. Um, they announced that you know they were finally after all these years going to be making the sequel and. Yeah, you know, um, I was quite, uh, looking forward to it um, cause you know I absolutely love the original movie and. You know. I was excited to see, um, you know, what they could do with sequel. Um, now, like, I'll be honest, the trailers for this one, uh, like, I kind of had a bit of a mixed reception to the first trailer in particular. Um, although I do think the second trailer actually did turn me around a bit more. I didn't go in with huge expectations, but I hoped, you know, it would be a worthy sequel, even if it's not as good as its predecessor. Um, I had seen before going in that it did have some great reviews, so, you know, I was hoping, you know, maybe it actually will out to be a very good film. Um, so, I went to see the film there yesterday, as of recording this review, and, well, now having seen it for myself, what do I think? I don't think it's on par with the original film, I still think the original movie is definitely a superior, but with that being said, I still thought this was a real great movie in its own right. Um, so getting into my thoughts on the film. So to start things off, um, the animation, um, like now obviously, um, with this movie coming out like nine years after the original film, uh. Yeah, I, I do think um, it is expected that, like, you know, the animation quality is going to look um, a bit more updated. So, I wasn't too surprised by that. But, um, what I will say, though, um, is that, like, if I do have a critique for the animation, um, like, I noticed, um, like, in particular, um, with the uh, human characters, they kind of move, like, a bit more fast-paced compared to the first movie, and I'm gonna be honest, I 
actually don't know if I'm really a huge fan of that, to be honest. Like, well, it didn't, like, entirely take me out of the movie. Oh, um, I still quite prefer, um, like, the kind of slower movements of the characters from the first film. Um, but with that aside... I think um, the animation is really good um, now obviously with this being a Pixar movie it's like you know what would you really expect but nonetheless um, like I do think colors are all great and um like the whole look of Wiley's minds and all these like different areas and stuff. They're all really nice to look at. Um and I do like really like um like the character designs of the new emotions and I think they fit their respective emotion brilliantly honestly, so the animation it is really good. Um, now, in terms of the pace in this film, um, what well, now? Um, this movie isn't exactly too long. Um, it's got a runtime of an hour and thirty six minutes. Um, so it has like relatively the same run time as the first movie just like about a minute longer but I'll be honest um I actually thought that this movie went by very quickly honestly um like um it definitely didn't really feel like a long movie uh like Honestly, I kind of felt like, um, the pace in this one was a little quick. Like, I, I definitely kind of felt it go by rather quickly, honestly. Um, and, like, to be fair, um, that is kind of what you expect with most Disney movies. Also, it didn't feel too long either. Um, yeah, with this one, I, I thought, I thought it kind of had a bit of a quick pace to it, um, However, with that being said, mine's the quick pace here, um, as, like, you know, um, if you're engaged in the story, it has you wanting to see what's gonna happen, and it didn't go by too quickly to the point where I felt it was just rushing, um, yeah, I would say it was quite good pacing, so, yeah, the pacing in this film was overall quite good the sound and music in the film now i think the movie has a pretty good score honestly um now i don't think i actually love the score like um compares to michael giacchino's score for the first movie i honestly don't really think it's like amazing to be honest but nonetheless I do think it is still a pretty solid score in its own right um yeah I don't have much to say about other than that but yeah nonetheless I, I do think the score is pretty good and I do like kind of like the newer take on the theme from the original movie so Alright, I'd say the music in the film was pretty good. Um, now, as for the characters, um, now we of course have the five emotions from the original movie uh, joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. Um, I do think um, they're all, once again, very good characters. Um, I do genuinely really like their dynamic with each other um, 
and like um because i like how in like in the first movie it was like joy and sadness like they ended up um getting taken out of the headquarters and then like it was just fear disgust and anger kind of in their own subplot well in this one um really it's kind of all five of them well one of the emotions actually does kind of end up going on their own like side quest but we do like focus on most of the group for this one together and i think it works well and yeah i do genuinely think they're once again good characters and i like their dynamic with each other so yeah i think the five main emotions are once again good characters um now in terms of the four new emotions uh, anxiety envy ennui and embarrassment um i honestly quite enjoyed um their characters uh anxiety in particular uh, i thought she was a very well written character and it's the way she was portrayed in the movie um like she honestly felt like a pretty like realistic depiction of anxiety um yeah, I honestly thought she was a very good character. I think the other new emotions are pretty good as well. And for what focus they get, they're honestly kind of quite entertaining characters in their own right. Um, so I, I thought they were all very good as well. Um, and as for Riley... Um, Riley, I thought, was a good character here, um, like, um, because in this movie, she's now a teenager, and, you know, she finds out that her friends are going to a different high school, so she kind of tries to make new friends. I do think it was, like, a pretty good arc for her character, um, and, um, you know, I like, um, what the movie does with her character in this film it's pretty good honestly and you know i thought she was well written and yeah so i did think um riley was good in this one um so i thought all the characters were very good and i think the voice acting in this movie is really good as well like um i don't really think anyone like gave a bad performance like i thought um pretty much all the voice performances were very good um like this movie doesn't have like the entire um cast like there are some characters who are like voiced by different actors who voiced them in the first movie but i think the replacement actors were all very good to where you didn't really mind the new voices so yeah i thought the voice acting was very good and the characters were very good as well um so in terms of the plot of this movie um like I'm not gonna lie, I actually do really like um the concept in this one of how like because Riley is now a teenager, she's now starting to develop um newer emotions and the new emotion is kind of trying to kick the older ones out and I I'm not gonna lie, it is um a good concept for this movie and um, and i thought it was very well done in the film like um like i do think the movie does um feature some like realistic depictions of like puberty and kind of what it's like to become a teenager and um, yeah it's well done honestly um and um 
Yeah, like, um, I think it's a good plot, and, you know, it is very engaging, and it's definitely one where like, you're wanting to see what's going to happen. So, really like, um, you know, like, how the movie kind of, um, delves more, like, into Riley's mind and how it's kind of changed and evolved since the first movie. Honestly, it's very well done in my opinion. It's honestly some really good world building. Um, and, like, yeah, it's honestly um, a good plot now. Like, what I was about the first movie is how it was able to blend the drama and the humor, like, so well. Um... Like, now, with this movie, like, it's honestly not really as dramatic as the first movie. Like, it doesn't really have as many emotional scenes. Like, this film, it's kind of just mainly all about, like, the humor and stuff. And, honestly, I don't mind. I don't think this movie needs to be, like, as emotional as the first movie. I think, like, um... The more kind of humor fills plus is done pretty well. Um, I do think the humor in the movie is pretty good. Um, I don't think it's as funny as the first movie, but it can be pretty funny in its own right at times. There was one joke in particular which um, like was a call back to the original movie and. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that one joke actually, like, had me bursting out loud in the cinema with how funny it was, um. But, yeah, uh, overall, I'd say the plot of this movie is really good. It executes the concept well. There's some very good worlds building, and, you know, despite not being as emotional, it's still very engaging and has you wanting to see what's gonna happen, so. I think the plot of this movie is very good and that's the narrative structure in this film and so it's kind of split into like kind of three plots and like we have the emotions from the original movie kind of trying to get back to headquarters kind of trying to restore Riley's sense of self and we have like the new emotions kind of trying to take over and kind of change Riley and we also have Riley herself and um, with how she's kind of trying to replace her friends. Um, like the way the three plots kind of interweave with each other, it's all done really well. Like it genuinely feels like this one plot, like this one story going on. And yeah, pretty much everything happening in the movie is very engaging it has you wanting to see what is gonna happen um yeah like the way it was all put in together was done brilliantly honestly um so yeah they all spin together so well so yeah i would say the narrative structure here was actually great so yeah overall inside house 2 was a really great movie and the best sequel Pixar has made in quite some time. Um, like you've got good animation, good characters, good voice acting. It executes the plot very well. Um, like, and like it, it's engaging. It has you wanting to see what's gonna happen, and there's some very good good world building with how it builds upon what was established in the first movie now i don't think it's as good as the first movie this film has its own thing i think it's really good um and like yeah if you enjoyed the first movie and um, you may not like this one as much but i'd say you'll still really like it and like, I think this would be 
I got film to bring kids to, especially if they enjoyed the first movie. So yeah, overall, a really good film. And I'm actually glad with how it turned out. So with that, I'm going to give Inside Out 2 a 9 out of 10. So with that, I'll see you guys next time, and bye.